Uh, do you have any bowl matchups that you would like to see? No, not that I can think of. I mean, I really, you know. I've got three I, of them I, that I'm if hoping Notre for. Notre Dame doesn't get in this thing, I want Notre Dame to go to a really good bowl. I want them to face a good opponent. I think these players are going to be fired up. Like, hey. like I'm not kidding. I kind of think if Notre Dame doesn't get in, I'd like to see Notre Dame and Alabama play. Oh, absolutely. And I know nobody else in the country wants to. I think I would take Notre Dame in that game right now to win straight up. Uh, yes, yes, I agree with you. Uh, I... And so I've got written down the games that I would like to see. Uh, I would love to see Ohio State against Utah because I want to see, like, I think that Utah can beat Oregon on uh, on Friday night. I want to see how manned up Utah's offensive and defensive lines have gotten because they have been whipping people on the line of scrimmage. I want to see what Ohio State does to bounce back from the Michigan game, right? So I think that that would be a fascinating matchup stylistically. And then on top of that, I would love to see Notre Dame go up against Ole Miss in a bowl game. I want to see what Marcus Freeman's defense does against Lane Kiffin's I, offense. The reason I the reason I want I want the Alabama matchup is because Alabama's been a team that has beaten the hell out of them and everyone has said unanimously they can't beat teams like Bama. And I think this Bama team is super flawed way overrated, and I think this Notre Dame team is going to come out on fire, and I do think that they would change the perspective of the school going into 2022 if they did that. I think so as well. I don't know that a win over Ole Miss does that, right? That's that's right. Nobody thinks that, by the way. Nobody universally nationwide outside of the SEC would, would value that win the way they would against the brand. Yes. Uh, and then the third one that I had down, uh, Wake Forest against Michigan State. I want to see Kenneth Walker the third, and I want to see Sam Hartman and that bunch against that Michigan State defense. I, I think we could see a ton of points in a ball game like that, and I think it'd be a lot of fun to see Kenneth Walker go against the school that uh, that he left to go over to Michigan State for. Uh, uh, I'm okay with that. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I I wouldn't hate it. But you're talking about a running back going, and, and while I know that that running back is the offense, Michigan State is so much more than just one guy, one scheme, one one like way of doing things. So oh, absolutely, you know, absolutely. And it's not like he left because he hated them or whatever. This is a Styles situation. Yes, it just wasn't a good fit. Like they run a, a, a delayed run scheme, and he wanted to run a pro style offense, and it works out for him. But I don't know if there's, like, vitriol or anger. No, 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 no. I don't think there's anger at all. I just think it would be in a, a really, really fun matchup. Like, incredibly I can think of a hundred different things that I'd rather see than that. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.